Hi there. Today we're going to talk about the new 2020 uh, home office expense, uh, expenses that are available to uh, all employees who had to work at home uh, during 2020 for at least four consecutive weeks uh, due to COVID-19. Uh, this is going to apply to a lot of people, uh, basically everyone that had to work from home for at least four weeks uh, consecutive. So let's get right into it. All right, so before we do, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, I'm Clayton Aiken. I'm a founder at and a leader at Aiken Henderson CPAs in Calgary, Alberta. Uh, we focus on uh, US and cross-border uh, tax issues as well as uh, helping owners and, uh, and uh, entrepreneurs uh, succeed with their small businesses through uh, good tax advice, uh, bookkeeping, um, and, uh, and great CFO support and, and uh, forecasting and planning, et cetera. And so all the information that I'm going to give you today is available in summary on our blog at akinhenderson.ca forward slash blog. So the government made an announcement back in December, um, and I've got a link to it there, um, announcing uh, broadly three new things. One, there's a new temporary flat rate method for claiming home office expenses. We'll get into that. It's very simple. You don't have to keep a lot of documentation or any. The second is a new option to claim the actual amount that you paid. This is called the detailed method, and we'll get into an example during this presentation as to why it may be advantage for you to may, why it may be advantageous for you to claim under the detailed method and what's going to be required from your employer to do that. <clears throat> and they announced some new eligible expenses that could not previously be claimed by employees. So getting right into it, the temporary flat rate deduction um, is is available to everybody who worked at least 50 percent for a 50 percent of the time for a period of at least four consecutive weeks during 2020 due to COVID-19. You can claim two dollars for each day that you worked from home, um, and it, for the for the four weeks, and then an additional two dollars for every or per day for every additional day that you worked beyond the four consecutive weeks. Uh, during 2020. So this claim can be re made regardless of whether or not your employer required you to work from home. So whether or not they required you to have a home office, which is a departure from the original, um, you know, our previous rules around employees claiming expenses. If your employer has not reimbursed you for all of your home office expenses, you can make this claim. So uh, even if they've reimbursed you a little bit, but not all, you can still make this claim. The maximum claim that an individual can make is for 200 days, um, totaling $400. This claim can be made by multiple individuals working in the same home. So if you and your spouse are uh, working from home at the same time, you can each get this deduction on your tax return. So on that point, this is a deduction. So the amount of tax the benefit that you will receive depends on your marginal tax rate. In other words, if you're a top income earner paying 48% tax in Alberta, you'll receive 192 dollar benefit. If you're a low income earner paying 15% tax, you'll only get a $60 benefit. Um, you know, sort of a, a, an off ramp or a side note, this seems kind of counterintuitive uh, to the federal government's stated objective of helping the middle class, as this deduction clearly favors the wealthy. Um, if the government were serious about helping the middle class, they would have made this a tax credit instead, ensuring that lower income folks would have received the same benefit as the wealthy did, uh, or, or as the wealthy do. Um, and, and by wealthy, I mean those paying 48% tax. So, and then the last point on this page, you can claim any day that you worked either part-time or full-time. And so, so that's the temporary flat rate method. Next is the detailed method. So same requirements, you must have worked from home for at least four consecutive weeks, 50% of the time, um, and it has to have been due to COVID-19. And you can actually total up your actual home office expenses and prorate them for, we'll get into the calculation here in a minute. In order to claim under the detailed method, your employer has to give you a form T2200S. This is a new simplified form that the government has um, released because they recognize that um, the T2200 is pretty onerous to fill out, especially for basically every employee that had to work from home. It's going to be a big uh, burden on employers. And so they've came, come out with a simplified form uh, T2200S. Okay. And here are some of the new, sorry, give me a sec here, skipping ahead. Here are some of the eligible expenses. You can claim rent, um, electricity, water, heat, utilities, maintenance, so you know minor repairs if you had to do some paint in your office, etc. 
um, home internet access, uh, office supplies, uh, basic cell phone plans, long distance for employment purposes, and then commissioned employees. So if you have commission turning up on your T4, you can also claim pop property tax, home insurance, and uh, leases for, for your tech. Not allowable expenses, non-eligible expenses, capital cost allowance, uh, mortgage interest principal. Uh, you can't write off replacing windows and, and doing major capital upgrades to your house. Office equipment is not allowed and your cell phone connection or license fee, so your your basic landline telephone, uh, those are not eligible. The question that I had is, when would it be beneficial to claim under the detailed method when compared to the flat rate method? Okay, so the, the temporary flat rate method, first of all, it's simple. You don't got to keep any paperwork for it. You get up to a $400 deduction. Okay, so that's simple. Let's run through a scenario where somebody might want to claim under the detailed method. So let's say that you live in a 2,800 square foot house. That's the finished area of your home. Your office is 120 square feet, 10 by 12. That's 4.3% your of the total. Uh, your rent is $1,800 a month. Utilities are $500 a month. Um, you don't have any other home expenses. Maybe you spent 300 bucks um, whiz bamming your office and with some new paint and some new lighting. Um, you've got a few office supplies and a cell phone at 50 bucks a month. Maybe you make 60 grand a year. Um, and let's say that you worked from home for nine months or 40 weeks, April 1st to December 31st. Well, when you punch this into the CRA's calculator, you'll see that under the temporary flat rate method, you're getting the max deduction because it's over two, it's 200 days of deduction you get. So $192 is your maximum tax saving, assuming you're paying tax at 48%. Under the detailed method, you'll get an, a nearly $1,200 deduction. So nearly three times as much. And your max tax savings is gonna be nearly three times as much at uh, $569. So the, the delta, the spread there is a cash tax advantage using the detailed method of up to $377. And so, you know, you can imagine from this um, calculation here that a lot of folks who were working a home, from home for a, a lot of the time during 2020, you're going to want to claim under the detailed method. And so now employers are going to have an obligation to fill out this form T2200 um, to help their employees out. I mentioned the CRA calculator. You can go and run your own numbers on the CRA calculator. Um, it's here. There's also a link from the blog that I'd mentioned, uh, akenhenderson.ca forward slash blog. So what is the new T2200S simplified? Well, it's a one page document with three yes or no questions. This is intended to make it very easy for employers to complete in high volumes. Um, and it's not, remember, this is not required to make a, a claim under the new temporary flat rate method, only the detailed method. So the T2200s and the new T2200Ss are not submitted with an employee's tax return, but the employee must retain it. It's got to be signed by the employer. Uh, oftentimes the CRA will request a copy. Um, and, and somebody asked me at one of the webinars that I had done a couple of weeks ago, what happens if you don't have that paperwork? I mean, the CRA will just simply deny your claim, um, your, your expense claim. So if you don't have the paperwork, the answer is to go get the paperwork. Um, you you, you got to have it. I guess under that scenario, you know, you could revert to a temporary flat rate method claim. It would just be a reduced claim, uh, presumably, which is presumably you're claiming under the detailed method in order to make a higher claim. OK, here is the new T2200S. As you can see, it's employee information, three simple questions. You know, did, did they work from home? Did you reimburse them? And was that included on the T4? Simple, simple. Employer signs it and you're done. That's it. Mirroring the new T2200S is a new simplified T777. So the T2200 is the form that the employer fills out uh, to, to indicate that the employee is allowed to make a claim or is required to make a claim, or sorry, was required to incur expenses in order to earn employment income. The new form T777S is what you actually fill out on your tax return. So um, this is a simplified schedule on the employee's personal tax return. So basically everybody watching this video is probably gonna be filling one of these out this year that worked from home anyways. And on this new simplified, form you can choose either the temporary flat rate method or the detailed method. Now if you have other things such as um, the personal use of an automobile or if you were required to incur expenses to earn employment income other than your home office, your regular, you're going to fill out your regular T2200 and T777 just like presumably just like you've always done. 
So here is the new T777, option one, temporary flat rate method, real simple, pop the days in there, it does a calculation for you. Detailed method, it lists all the things that you can claim and that you can't claim, we've already gone through that. And here is the calculation over on the right-hand side, page two, of uh, what you can claim. And, and, and it, it totals it up for you and, and throws it on your tax return. So that's it. A couple other questions that I've had in delivering this webinar once already was what happens if you and your spouse are working from home and, and you're working in the same home office, for example? Well, the CRA uh, or Canada.ca has some has these examples on their website that's linked through our blog. And basically what it says is if, if there's two of you working in the same home office, each of you are supposed to prorate that home office down to the square footage that you're actually using. So if you're sharing 180 square foot home office, and you each use half of it, each of you would get to claim 90 square feet in the prorated calculation. Another question that I have been commonly asked is what happens if I'm using the kitchen table or somewhere else that's sort of a mixed use space, it's not a dedicated home office. And if you go to CRA's guidance on this on their website, they want you to prorate so you've done your proration for the square footage of the table or your kitchen, for example. What they want you to do is apply a second proration on that, which is basically the hours of the day that you use it. So if you're eight out of 24 hours, you're whatever, 30%, you know, that proration has to go on top of the prorated amount that you've already done for the square footage. So those are a couple of questions that I get commonly asked. Happy to answer any others for you. You can reach out to me on LinkedIn or uh, reach us through our website at akinhenderson.ca. And thank you so much for watching. Again, uh, turn you back to the blog, akinhenderson.ca forward slash blog for uh, all the details of what we've discussed today. All right. Thank you so much.